Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga walkthrough for SpaceTopGames.com, and this is going to be Chucklehuck Woods. And uh, the next thing to do will be to go into these areas, get some of the syrups, and walk out, and then hit this hammer. I mean, hit this button with the hammer. <laughs> yeah. Now here's a pretty interesting uh, part, which will be used many times throughout the game, but anyway, uh, I'm going to show you what happens if you just step on this first. You both get hit, and you can't pass. So the whole idea is to get under the barrel and step on the button, or the platform, which will bounce back the fireball, or whatever that is, yeah, fireball, <laughs> into the face that shot it out. Which kind of seems like a reference from uh, Super Mario Bros. 2 for the NES. But anyway, uh, you can either go to the left if you want to get through the level quickly, or go to the right to get new uh, enemies. So for these, these are Shy Guys and. or Chuck Guy and a Fuzz Bush. Now, the Fuzz Bush has a pretty poisonous, literally, attack, and if he does get to attack me, I'll show you. Uh, he'll walk up and then spit out these poisonous guys at Mario and Luigi. The Chuck guys will just attack you either with their spears by trying to swipe you at their feet or charging at you. And the way you can tell which attack they're going to do is seeing if they jump before they attack or not. If they jump, then they're going to charge you with their spear. If they do not jump, they're going to try and swipe you at your feet. And here's this guy's attack. If he gets all skinny like that, he goes for Mario first. And the Chuck guys also have a very nasty habit of calling back their friends. But as you see there, he uh, jumped and then uh, charged at me with his spear. Now if you manage to get hit by one of those guys like that, which was completely accidental, you're going to want to use a refreshing herb on whoever's poisoned, because that will just damage you, and you don't really need that. Right there, he did not jump, so he's trying to swipe me with his feet. He did jump, so he's trying to charge me. And again, of course, timing and jumping will take some practice, as usual. And wow, I can't believe I managed to do that twice. But uh, the Chuck guys will not always be successful in calling back their friends. Sometimes they will call them and then they're, get, they'll get a sad face and their friend won't come. Which, that's a good thing to me. <laughs> but anyway, just come up to the left here, or right here I mean, and get all of these. Of course, the max amount of anything you can have in this game is 99 of the items, or 999 mushrooms, I think. Okay, come on, get the thing. It's either 9,999 or 99 coins, but let me check really quick. Uh, 9,999 coins. And that will be reached pretty easily if you uh, play this game like I am. And of course, if you aren't uh, dying all the time. Oh, whoops. Okay, I should not jump on him yet. I'm actually kind of surprised I haven't run into a gold beanie yet. Wrong one again. <laughs> And just like that, it leveled up once again. And I think I'll put this one in hit points. Hooray for fours! Yeah. 
As for Luigi, I'm gonna go with Stash. And you can, of course, hammer these guys to knock them out, but, uh... <laughs> that guy was kind of stuck, apparently. So, anyway, uh... In the event that you cannot hammer them, you just got to fight them like normal, obviously. I, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> ah, there was the gold beanie, but he runs away. And they love doing that. Now if you're walking the right here, here is a, uh, it's going to be a shortcut later on, but uh, you can kind of see a vein or a vine up there, kind of a root, and that will play a uh, relatively big part in getting past this area. And then of course there's this huge new area that I don't think I'm going to be able to record in four minutes before my camera stops recording for me, so that will be it for this video.